This is tutorial number 146, and it covers how to use the center of gravity feature within SOLIDWORKS. Now to start off, let's open up a new part file. So let's click File, click New, click Part, click OK. So in this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to use the center of mass, center of gravity feature, and in the next couple of tutorials I'm going to show you how to optimize a sketch using this feature, and then optimizing a part using this feature. So to start off, let's create a sketch. So click Sketch, click Rectangle, click any plane, and from the origin, let's create a sketch of a rectangle, or a square, sorry, and let's dimension this to 50 by 50. And just by looking at this, we know in the sketch where the center of gravity or center of mass would be, and it's at 25, 25. Now let's extrude this out, 50 millimeters. And now we know that the center of mass or center of gravity would be 25, 25, 25. So now we're going to use the center of gravity feature just to make sure. So let's click the mass properties, and it's going to give you the center of mass, and it's at 25, 25, 25. Now when you use this feature, you'll notice that there's a purple coordinate system, and that center point right there, that is your center of mass or center of gravity. So it's just showing you where the center of mass, center of gravity is, and which directions it's really pointing. Now, we knew where it would be because we kind of set it up like that. Now, if you have a more complex part, it's going to do it 